Thank you for buying this podium from Fixture Displays. This is the box. We're going to do a little unboxing to show you step-by-step -step instructions. Fixture Displays manufacture our own podiums, donation boxes, community tables, many business supplies. This is all the components you're going to get. Your hardware kit, the Z-wires, the book stop or Bible stop, the single tube, and then two weldments that are slightly different in whole position details. Then you have the base with the rubber glaze and the top. If you have any questions, email us at cs at fixturedisplays.com. That's charlie sam at fixturedisplays.com. The strips goes onto the three three holes. And on both sides there are uh, the holes have a counter sink. Now you want to identify uh, where the uh, the deeper counter sink is the top. That's the deeper one is used uh, for a bigger screw that uh, goes over the um, goes into the tube. So the strip would be in contact with the holes where the bigger counter sink side is, and then the screw go through the bottom into the strips. It would help with a couple of people doing that because it's such a large piece. Now we're going to start uh, assemble the uh, weldments and tubes and Z wires together before we fasten the top and bottom to the, the assembly. Now remember the two weldments are different. Identify the angle uh, of the top tube first. And you can start with basically anyone, but in this case, we're going to start with the one on the, um, on the left hand side. Now there is one particular tube that has no holes at all. And that's the one on the end. Now the Z wires, have one side of them have three points, the other has four points. So you want to make sure the piece, the tube you are attaching this into have the corresponding number of holes. In this case, three holes. Now there's going to be a, a stem stick out with thread on it. You want to pick up an acorn nut and tighten that. Uh, slightly. We're going to do final adjustment later on. Initially, we just want to put the structure together that is uh, solid enough to allow further assembly. Now we're going to pick up the the other weldment, and we're going to pick up a side that has four holes, that's matching the Z wire that we have already assembled to the other weldment. Stick the wire into the holes. Once again, it would be nice to have a couple of people do this, although one person is totally able to do so. Again, you want to you want to uh, fasten the acorn nut to where the thread is at lightly. Now, uh, the long tube and the short tubes, they're on two different surfaces. Eventually, we're going to make adjustments, but right now, we just want to make sure um, you have the long side and then the short side of the tubes. Now, the long tubes are going to be uh, force, uh, f forming one surface that is on one plane. We're going to do the last piece of Z-wire. Again, in this case, we have three stems going into the holes. We're going to lightly tighten the 
acorn nut. Then we're going to rotate that a little bit and put on the final tube. Now you'll see better where the long tubes are on one plane, where the other tubes are on a, a different plane. Make sure the taper of the end of the tube is off the proper direction where the podium top will be sitting on. If you have any questions, feel free to email us. Our email address is cs at fixturedisplays.com. cs at fixturedisplays.com. That's Charlie Sam at fixturedisplays.com. If you need to make a logo or have a special size podium or different design you want to get made or other matching furnitures, we love the challenge and the opportunity to work for you. So at this stage, we're going to uh, try to lift it up. And the way to lift it up is uh, by holding the two long tubes, two tubes together. And can you assemble in this position forward? Yeah, you probably can. Uh, it is recommended at this stage, you would uh, sit this unit up. Once again, examine the tapering directions of the top tube. And we're going to fasten the, um, the top panel, the reading panel, into the tubes. There are five screws to work with. Now we have the top properly assembled. We're going to flip it to work on the bottom. Certainly you want to find a piece of cardboard or something uh, to protect the reading panel during the assembly stage. In the event you have a part that's dented or damaged, uh, we ask you to identify the part. The best thing to do is send uh, a few pictures. We'll be happy to replace those for you. Now, you certainly you want to do so within a few days of delivery, not a, a good while after. However, if you do need another part because of damages during use, we still would love to help you out. Um, we ask you to be uh, honest with your reasons of, of uh, those changes, and we'll do our best to accommodate. Now we're going to supply some uh, stickers to cover the screw holes, mostly for the top. Now we're going to uh, lay this uh, podium flat before fastening all the screws tight and snug. What we want to do is because this is large podium and that there are many loose parts, we want to make sure they're square, straight between the uh, top and the bottom so you don't feel twisted in any way. And this would need the little adjustment, fine tuning. Once you're happy with the results, use the spanner to tighten the screws snugly, but you don't have to over tighten it. If it is not square or not uh, uh, parallel, adjust, loosen here and there before you tighten the final structure. So take a little bit of time if uh, yours uh, happen to be um, a little skewed. Uh, it can be adjusted. You need to have some faith here. And these are the uh, screw covers. Once again, we want to thank you for shopping fixture displays. If you have any other uh, questions, opportunities, you let us know.
If you like our products, we can usually we can you uh, really use your good review and potentially share your pictures with us or on your social media network. We would love to feature your pictures in many websites of ours. Thank you and God bless.